ICANN is a California-based nonprofit organization created in 1998 to oversee the Internet's naming system. ICANN's contract with NTIA, part of the U.S. Department of Commerce, officially expires on October 1st. This will complete an 18-year transition of the IANA functions to a multi-stakeholder group, including technical experts, U.S. technology companies, and civil society. This has led some to claim that on October 1st, the U.S. is giving up control of the internet to foreign countries. However, this is wrong on a few accounts. ICANN has never had control over the internet. Accepting their domain name registry system has always been a voluntary arrangement, and the existing domain name system is not the only way to structure web browsing. Jonathan Zuck of the App Association pointed out in a congressional hearing on September 14th that while the U.S. does not have control, it does have influence. This influence is what we stand to lose by delaying the transition. No one is in favor of oppressive regimes having increased control of the internet. But if internet fragmentation or foreign control of the internet were a valid concern, U.S. internet companies would be against the transition. However, several technology trade associations have come out in favor of the transition, as did human rights groups such as Freedom House and national security experts such as former Homeland Security Secretary Michael Chertoff. There are also accountability mechanisms in place so that foreign countries will not be able to exercise control. It speaks volumes that France, Russia, Spain, Switzerland, Argentina, and Brazil express opposition to the way the Government Advisory Committee, or the GAC, will be set up post-transition. This is because in order to take any forceful action, governments would have to reach a consensus. The U.S. can veto any decision made by oppressive regimes. This debate has been hyper-politicized and overblown. Delaying the transition will make the perfect the enemy of the good. It will increase the likelihood of internet fragmentation by decreasing our influence among the dozens of countries who are still deciding between trusting the U.S. multi-stakeholder model or backing a competing multilateral model that would give foreign governments more power. Allowing the transition to take place is good policy and good diplomacy.